Hi, uh, this is Craig, and I uh, hunted a yard uh, recently. <clears throat> it was an in-laws yard, and the uh, house was probably built in the uh, late 40s, maybe early 50s, and I expected to find some silver coins because there had been five kids in the family. And uh, <clears throat> So anyway, uh, I started hunting the place, and... Uh, Right off the bat, I started in the backyard. I started finding uh, some Civil War stuff, and uh, I found three three bullets. I found a kind of an unusual artifact. It's a uh, soldier, I guess, made a lead. Uh, looks like a lead uh, cufflink. And I found this button. And uh, I was first told it was a police button. I even saw in a magazine that was called a police button. Then I thought it was a professor's button. And now I've been told it's a uh, Piedmont Railroad button. And it's from about the 1850s. And uh, right next to it, I found this button. It's got a JC on it. And in the middle right here is a little bit messed up, but it's got like a crown at the top, and I'm not really sure what it is. I was wondering maybe if it was Georgetown College, but I don't know. It's got an iron back. And I found some tent grommets. And this is a uh, tag from a piece of luggage from that era. I also found a lot of silver in the yard. This is just one day of hunting. <clears throat> and uh, I've also got an 1890 Indian head. I can see it very well. Not in great shape. And I found a nice barber dime. And then I got a dollar signal, and I dug this up, and I went back over it, and it was still reading fairly high. And I dug a silver quarter, and I believe uh, three or four dimes out of the same hole, and a couple wheat pennies. All together, I got about 70 uh, coins out of this yard. Some are modern. There was a lot of wheat pennies also, but it was a pretty good day for silver. All right, that's it.